Hi everyone, it's Shay from Fish Posh Baby, and today we're going to be talking all about the top rated lightweight strollers of 2020. I personally love lightweight strollers because they're super small and compact. I love that you can take them almost anywhere with you. Most of these strollers are airline compatible, car seat compatible, and newborn compatible, which is pretty great. And we definitely have a lot to cover, so without further ado, let's get on to the rest of this video. Alright, so the first stroller we're going to be talking about today is the Mountain Buggy Nano V3. The Mountain Buggy Nano V3 is new for 2020 and we are loving it. It does not come with an adjustable handlebar, but the handlebar is at a good height. And it does come with a little safety strap that we really, really love. It weighs 13 pounds, has a weight capacity of around 44 pounds. The canopy is large and spacious. It doesn't have a peekaboo window, but the last panel is retractable or extendable depending on your preference. It has a five point harness as well as an adjustable footrest. So the footrest is easily adjustable and it's just a really nice feature to make sure your child is comfortable. And it has a sling recline and one of the main reasons why we love this recline is because it's a lie flat recline making it newborn compatible, car seat compatible, and airline compatible. It does fit in most overhead compartments of airlines. So again, it's a really great stroller to travel with. I'm gonna just pull it back up Wait, really quickly. I do wanna show you the back when it's fully reclined. When it's fully reclined, it actually has a little ventilated back and it's super nice during those hot summer months, get a lot of air ventilation, but during winter, you can just cover it back up. And then now I am going to put it back in the sitting position. I just want to show you the storage really quickly. So the storage is in the smaller side. It's a lightweight stroller. It's really hard to find a big, big storage basket when you're dealing with lightweight strollers, but I will say you can probably fit a small to medium diaper bag. Now the wheels do not have suspension, but they are EVA wheels. So they're really not, they don't really cause any problems. They're really easy to work with and they maneuver really, really well, which I love. And it's a color-coded brake, red for stop, blue for go, which I like. It's a pretty simple brake. I don't really have to worry too much about it. And then I do want to show you the fold really quickly. The fold is super easy. You just retract the handlebar, and then there's a handle right here that I'm just going to push and it's going to collapse. And one of the main reasons why I love this fold so much is that it does come with a little shoulder strap. So this shoulder strap just makes everything convenient. You can take it with you on the go. Like I said, this is a really, really great travel stroller. And now to open it up, I'm just gonna find the handlebar again. Oh, and I opened it up backwards, but I'm just gonna grab it. It's super easy. The Mountain Buggy Nano V3 retails for $199. Now I'm going to put this one back and we are going to get started talking about the Baby Jogger City Tour 2. Now we really love the Baby Jogger City Tour 2. It has a really easy fold. It weighs 14.3 pounds, has a weight capacity between 6 months and 45 pounds. It's car seat compatible, newborn compatible with the use of a pram, and it is just generally a really nice stroller. So it does not have an adjustable handlebar. But like I said, it's pretty tall, so I can imagine it can accommodate a taller parent really nicely. The canopy is large, spacious. The, the last panel extends or retracts, depending on your preference. And it also has a little peek of the window, which I absolutely love. It's ventilated, so you do get good airflow. Now, as for the seats, the seats have a five-point harness and an adjustable footrest. The main reason why I really love this adjustable footrest, it's in the up position now, but I love it so much because you can bring it down or you can bring it up, but when it's up, it actually gives you access to the underseat storage basket. So if you look at the underseat storage basket, it's much like the previous one, it's a bit in the smaller side, but I really do like that you have that front access as well. As for the recline, the recline is pretty nice. It's a strap recline, so you just pull it down. Overall, super nice. It has front swivel wheels as well as front suspension, so you do get a really nice ride. And it has this pretty simple brake. It's just a gray little brake that I can just push and pull. I would even say it's flip-flop friendly. It's not too hard or anything like that. And to fold the stroller is beyond easy. I love folding this stroller. I am gonna take the footrest down just to make it a little bit easier for me. But there's two function buttons on the handlebar. 
I'm going to pull and push at the same time. And there you go, it's folded, super easy. I love that it's really a one-handed fold. And then to open it up, it's the same thing. Just gonna make sure everything is set, you hear that click. I love my with strollers because the fold is always so not complicated. It's usually a one to two hand fold that takes two seconds, which I love. But the Baby Jogger City Tour retails for $229.99. I'm gonna put this one away. So now we're going to talk about the GB Cubit All City Stroller. The GB Cubit All City Stroller weighs around 16.53 pounds, has a weight capacity of birth to four years. It is pretty amazing. I really love just how classy it looks. It has a pretty high handlebar, so it can definitely accommodate a taller parent very nicely, and even a shorter parent. I'm in the short side, I'm 5'3", I don't find this hard to push or anything. The canopy is beautiful. It is three panels and just looking at it, I am so obsessed with it. I think it's so classy, it's so pretty. You look into the seat, the seats are plush, has an adjustable footrest, it has a five point harness, and it does recline. So it has a strap recline, really, really nice recline. It has all wheel suspension, it's newborn compatible. And it also folds down really, really nice. So let me show you. It has a similar fold. It's two, well, it's, I'm already folding it, but what I did was press the two function buttons on the handlebar. It folds very, very similarly than the Baby Jogger City Tour 2. They both have very, very similar folds. So there you go. This is it folded. Pretty light, pretty easy. And then to unfold it, Again, nothing too complicated, which I really love. And the GB Cubit All City Stroller retails for $299.95. Now I'm going to put this one away. And we are going to talk about the Silver Cross Jet. So the Silver Cross Jet, it has also been updated for 2020. And it is beautiful. It weighs 13.6 pounds, has a weight capacity from newborn to 55 pounds, so it is newborn compatible, car seat compatible, and airline compatible, which is really, really great. It has a beautiful canopy, little peekaboo window, it's magnetic, it's a plastic peekaboo window. Like before, the final panel can be retracted or extended for more coverage, which I love. Does not have an adjustable handlebar. Most of these strollers, I keep mentioning, don't have an adjustable handlebar. That's what you get when you get a lightweight stroller, that's just something to keep in mind. The seats have actually been updated. They are super nice, super plush, five-point harness, adjustable footrest. It has a beautiful, beautiful wheels. The wheels have actually been extended backwards and forward to provide more stability, which is amazing. It does have spring suspension, so you do get a really, really smooth ride. I will mention that it does have a very, very small underseat storage basket. It's probably the smallest one that we're talking about today, so that's something to keep in mind. And then the only thing I will say is getting to the storage basket is a little bit difficult. It's not too, too complicated, but you do have to go through the front because the back has some engineering in it. But the back makes it possible for it to fold. Let me show you how this folds. It has a really, really easy fold. It's a two-step fold. So the first thing I'm going to do is collapse the handlebar. So there's a function button in the handlebar. And there's actually a red button underneath, underneath the stroller that I'm going to... Again, super easy fold. I love that the belly bar actually turns into a handle so you can just carry it like that. So again, really, really easy just to bring with you on trips, which I love. And then to open it up, it's pretty easy as well. So I'm just going to unlock the handlebar. Unlock the stroller. And then I'm going to lift up. If it doesn't open right away or fully, I'm just going to make sure everything locks into place. If you don't hear the lock, it's actually a safety feature. You don't hear that click, it's not open right away. So ours is not open, so I'm just gonna 
pull down, and do that really quick. And now it is fully open, it is beautiful, obsessed with it. And the Silver Cross Jet retails for $349. So I'm gonna move this one out of the way. All right, so the next stroller we're gonna talk about today is the Upper Baby Menu. It weighs 14 pounds, and it has a weight capacity of three months to 50 pounds. So you do get a lot of usage out of it. It doesn't have an adjustable handlebar, but like I said, a lot of these are at a good height, the handlebars. The canopy is large and spacious. I love it. It has the three-panel canopy, and the last panel can be retracted or extended, which is nice. And it has a large, large magnetic peekaboo window that's ventilated. It has a five-point harness, as well as a beautiful, beautiful recline. Let me show you the recline. So it is actually a strap recline, so I'm just going to pull, and there you go. One of the things I really love about it is that it does have a lot of storage. It has a little storage pocket, you know, on the back side, and even the underseat storage basket. We're getting into the, more of the bigger storage baskets, and I will say the Upper Booty Menu has a pretty nice size storage basket for a lightweight stroller. I will say you can probably fit a medium diaper bag as well as a couple of other little things. And it does have amazing all-wheel suspension, so it has an amazing, amazing ride. It's a smooth ride for your child, which I love. It's a three-position recline, really nice. And one of the things that I love about the Upper Baby Menu is that it folds really, really easily as well. So all I'm going to do is press the two function buttons in the middle of the handlebar. And it just folds onto itself. One of the things that I do really love is that it has a little shoulder strap so you can take it with you anywhere you want. It is newborn compatible and if you can take it with you on most airlines, and then to open it up, all I'm going to do is unlock it. I'm going to unlock it, and then it opens up really easily. I don't really have to worry about it. I really, really love how easy it is. And then the other baby menu retails for $3.99. Now I'm going to take this one out of the way. The next stroller we are going to talk about is the Bugaboo Ant. The Bugaboo Ant weighs 15 pounds, around 15 pounds, and it does have a weight capacity of 50. It has an adjustable handlebar, which we are loving. And the canopy is beautiful. It has a zip out canopy, so you can zip it out and extend it further. It has a really nice five point harness. It has an adjustable backrest, which is pretty cool. Let me show you. You can actually put it further down, or you can lift it up. And it does recline, it has a really nice recline, let me show you. So it's a couple positions that you can choose. It's a three position recline, so you can choose whatever position you find your child to be most comfortable in. And it is reversible. So reversing it is pretty easy, but you do have to do a couple of steps. So the first step is you're going to squeeze these two sides together. You're gonna bring the seat down and you're gonna extend it all the way down down like that, and then I would lift it up. I'm not gonna do it for the purpose of this video, and I would just reverse it. All right, now that I have the Bugaboo Ant in this position, I'm actually gonna show you how to fold it really quick. So I'm just gonna put the handlebar down. I have the Bugaboo Ant already raked, so again, it's not moving anywhere. There's two function buns on the side of the stroller that I'm gonna pull, and there you go. It will collapse onto itself, and it is super small. I really like it. One of my favorite things about the Bugaboo Ant Fold is that you can just very easily do this and use it as a trolley. So if you have anything in storage here, you can still access it while it's folded, which is really, really nice. Let me just unbreak it so you can see how convenient this would be. I really, really love the Bugaboo Ant. And now to open it up, all you have to do is press the same function buttons and it will let the wheels go out, pull the seat, and lift it up. And there you go, it's as good as new. The Bugaboo Ant retails for $3.49. Now I'm gonna put this one out of the way. All right, next up is the Baby Zen Yo-Yo. The Baby Zen Yo-Yo is a fan favorite. 
Oh, I see a lot of these on the streets. They weigh around 13.6 pounds. They have a weight capacity of 44 pounds. The handlebar is not adjustable. The canopy is large and spacious. I love the canopy. It has a little plastic peekaboo window right at the very edge. And then it does have storage pockets on the other side of the canopy, which I love. So you can definitely fit your keys, your phone, all those little things that you carry around with you. They have a place where you can put it on the stroller, which I love. It has a beautiful five-point harness, as well as a strap recline. Reclining it and putting it back forward is super easy. So I'm really, really enjoying this. And then the storage basket is pretty large for a lightweight stroller. I do imagine you can probably put a medium or maybe even a large diaper bag in here. So I really, really like that. It has all wheel suspension, so it does have a really, really smooth ride. And it has a really easy brake. It's just this little red little tab that I can press up, press down to brake. So I overall really like it. And it has a really, really easy fold. So let me show you how to fold it really quick. It has a very similar fold to the Nano, so I'm just going to press the two function buttons and collapse the handlebar. And there's actually a function button that I'm going to press underneath the stroller that is going to... There. And there you go, guys. It comes with a little shoulder strap, so again, you can very easily walk with this to the airport or anywhere you have to go. And then opening it back up is pretty simple. So it's gonna hear that click, so I know it's all the way open. And then the Babies in Yo-Yo 2 retails for $549.99. All right, so I know I threw a lot at you, so if you have any questions or comments, please, please, please leave them down in the comment section down below. We will answer them as soon as possible. And like always, please like, subscribe, and have a great day.